Uh, so, for those of y'all coming in now, we're currently live on the podcast. You know, bam, bam. And we just got done talking about, you know, guys being lame and, you know, guys being lame in 2018 and whatnot. And now we're going to talk relationships. So, drop comments down below. to Let's have this discussion. All right, bro. So, starting off. What do you think? Well, tell me. What do you what do you think about this relationship? Or do you want me to sign it off? I want to hear what you got. Do you want to All right. So, this, 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 this is how I look at it. Um, I was having this conversation about a week ago how... Okay, so this is how I, this is how I view a relationship between a man and a girl, right? Um, if you're friends, if you guys are friends, you guys grow friends or whatnot, and... You guys are not in a relationship. This is like, you know, disregarding like any, you know, I guess relationship with God. Just, I guess, like on the, the more like just regular basis, let's say, you know, for it's a fake, sick argument. Um, if you're friends with a girl and you guys, you know, are friends or whatever for a long time, you guys act a certain way towards each other and now you guys are boyfriend and girlfriend, I feel like the only difference there is that you guys are having sex. <laughs> Literally, I'm a, and I know it sounds like you're like, wait, what? That to me is technically the only difference because I've seen too many times guys, bro, that they're friends with a girl and they act a certain way, and now that once they get into that relationship, they they act different. You know, they're like, constantly on the girl's butt, or like they just they just move a lot different. You know I me? Mean? So I think that relationships are for everybody. You know I me? Mean? I think that they're selective people. But I think that a lot of people think that they are. Like, you know, you see, like, we talk about this all the time. I think I'm going to end up being that guy that's going to be, like, you know, in his 40s or something like that. Going to dinner with, like, all my friends. And all you guys have kids or married. And you're going to be like, yo, man, so when are you going to, you know what I mean? And it's, it's because, I don't know, like, it's, it's not for everybody. I think that people just think that that's just the thing to do. At least in my opinion. I feel like it's almost like relationships, like, oh, it's just the thing to do. Like, it's like. People don't really think of like again. I just have this that I'm gonna, Every time I ask a question, the girl will say, "I don't know," and then she'll give an answer. I don't know, and then she'll give an answer. You get me? Like I don't know because we all just want somebody. I don't know because you get me. So it's just like somebody to it's, us. Yeah. So look with you guys. Why? Why relationships? Like why do you guys feel like you need to be in a relationship? And not not necessarily now, just in general, like. Why do you feel like we like we need relationships and whatnot? If I guess if you have to say, I think uh, relationships are you know there is something that requires us to grow to mature. You no, know, it also brings out in, in certain cases, right? In healthy cases, brings out the best version of you. You know, you said it yourself before when you know there'll be that guy that was always running out until he decided. You know, certain things were not for him anymore because he found the girl that he thought was the right one for him. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that that's the best version of him. Mm -hmm. You know, it's to willing to sacrifice certain things that you would normally do or normally say for the sake of somebody and you know, what you guys are building together. I think relationships are about building. Mm -hmm. I think relationships are always meant to be about, you know, towards a better future, towards better goals, towards better, you know, something, right? Um, anything other than that to me is, is kind of empty. I do I do not understand women in the sense that you wanna like you know women and men both change in a relationship. There's certain things that have to change, mm -hmm. but there's certain things that yo know, like you know women automatically or men automatically when they get a title, like some expectations gotta change because some things are no longer the same. Mm -hmm. But there's certain things that like yo you can start dating a girl today and she already shifted, mm -hmm. or the guy already shifted. It's like hold up. What happened? The reason somebody liked you in the first place was because you were different. I mean, okay, so said so besos mando desde aquí en Jaya Oh Jesus, <laughs> because love exists. See Chris, correct? Yes. Okay. Now listen to everything you said, right? Listen to everything you said, and this is where I have a big disagreement. And this is where I had the big disagreement when I had this conversation. Why do we need an intimate relationship to attain everything you just mentioned? No, no, no. See, I did not say you needed it. I said it helps us. Okay, now let me ask you. Can I not... Because uh, uh, So let's put my example, right? I have friends. I, in my opinion, all of my friends are better than me. Honestly. In my opinion, every single one of my friends is higher up as far as success goals, as far as wages, all that shit. It's like, like the way I've seen it, these are facts, right? So my friends are better than me. So they're already a challenge. You get me? It's like you guys are motivating me to be better, right? I have girls that are friends. 
And if ever I needed to go to dinner, because like, you know, like people do the whole day thing that we're talking about, like that's weird too. If I ever needed to go to dinner, can I not just go to dinner with a girl that's a friend or a movie with a girl yeah, that's a friend, right? right? Like, so basically, I could obtain all of these things that you could obtain in a intimate relationship, right? That people say, like, you know, get, you know, get better, be better, and all of that. The only thing I'm missing really is that I'm not having sex with any of my friends. That's really the only no, difference. No, but there's also like a like a certain. Uh... She said, "Oh, George." <laughs> <laughs> no, man. There's also like the reality is there's certain expectations. That I cannot put on you. Like? Like, you know, you're my brother, and I love you, and I look up to you, and I think you're a hero, and all these things, I think you're great. But I can, there's certain things I cannot demand from you, I cannot expect from you, right? As a friend, somebody comes to you and be like, George, yeah. you were supposed to do it, and you're gonna be like, beep, 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 I'm not supposed to do nothing. Right, right, right. Whereas in a relationship, there is a commitment, and there's an understanding that there's certain things that are expected of you. That. I'm not saying that it's needed because you're right. You can be a great person. You can be an amazing. There's a lot of people who are not meant to be in relationships, and that is okay. I think we need to get out of the stigma, you know, uh, that relationships make us who we are. No, no, you're not supposed to find somebody who makes you whole. You're supposed to complement each other, not complete each other. There's a difference, right? I can be fine on my own, but it is nice to have somebody that I can grow with, that I can mature with, that I can know. Uh, it's because there's also certain experiences that can only be shared in a relationship. You know, like, like the struggle of life itself in certain aspects can only be shared within a relationship. Where you both share intimate well, vulnerability. That, that's about the intimate same. vulnerability, mm -hmm. right? Because vulnerability is the greatest sign of openness, mm -hmm. right? Where I can show you all how broken I am and you can show me how broken you are. But there's no judgment, just growth. Mm -hmm. You know, that can only happen in, a, in an intimate relationship. So you're saying that... Because even sex... It's part of being vulnerable. And intimate, yeah, for sure. Exactly. So, you, you you know, when you're doing something with so many different people, it starts being vulnerable. It starts being open. It starts it being... A thing. It becomes exercise, cardio. Well, that, that that's the thing. Okay, so let me see. Um, talk about the Disney thing, misconception that girls have. We talked about it. Yes, we did. Um, okay. So, okay. So, before I get to that, here's the thing. So, I think that we start viewing things... Because we're meant to view things a certain way. You know what I mean? Like, we're brought up thinking that, oh, this is how this is, and that's it. And we almost don't develop any thought process beyond yeah, it. Because, yeah, yeah. oh, this is just how I was thought, so this is just... You, you drink know. the Kool-Aid. Yeah, it's like, so, I I don't know, people, you know, they go to college, they do this, they do that, they get married, they have kids, and they die. You know what I mean? That's like everybody's, like, thing. You know what I mean? And that's what I'm against, because it's like, okay... I don't need to be in an intimate relationship to obtain all of these things that, like, like I said, that you were talking about. But I think it depends on the person, though. Like me personally, I don't mind sharing vulnerable things, though, like with other people. Like we've had, we've had this conversation. You get me? I think that I guess that that will really pertain to certain people, just like you said. Not, relationships are for everybody, so it pertains to certain people because I don't, because I, I, can, I can't really think of like something that's vulnerable that I can't share with someone else. Like with like. Just yeah, like yeah. telling you but, or but, telling somebody but, but else. To be, let's be honest. You know, your kind of openness, your kind of honesty is not the norm. It's the exception. Right? Okay. And then there's certain things that, you know, I know you said, oh, you know, taking God out of the picture, taking stuff out of the picture. It's like, you know, if you believe that God is who he says he is, then you can't take him out of the picture because he is the picture. Right. Right? So then there's certain things that you were brought up believing mm -hmm. that were not completely true, but were not completely wrong. Yeah. For example, you know, yeah. one... Think about it, like, if, if you believe in God and you subscribe to the idea that there's a God who's perfect and infinite, right? Mm -hmm. You know, he saw a man, and he saw the man was alone. Have you ever thought about the idea that, that God thought that, God, that man was alone? Yeah. But God was there, and the Bible says that God walked with him? Yeah. And you never wonder, like, why what? Would he... Why would he be alone if he has the creator of the yeah. universe? Well, you see, look, I guess this is bad. This is bad for me, you know, right? You might be like, yo, that's wrong, but then if... That, doesn't that mean that all he was missing was something physical? No. It's because there's certain things that God was teaching you, right? And it, and it was one of the, the things that he was teaching you was the idea of connection, intimate connection. Because because this is the problem, right? If we're going to subscribe to the idea of the Bible, right? If if you don't, that's cool, you know, yeah. no, no, no problem. But if you're going to subscribe to the idea of the Bible, then there's that the Bible reveals 
the Bible. Uh, this is why I tell you. This is why I tell you, girls be in love with what the fuck you be saying, cause. You're, I mean, I know that it's not the way because I know you're about to turn up because I'm about to make you yeah. turn up with the next question I'm about to ask you. But everybody right now is like, Woo, Chris! No, 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 but, but I want to I wanna clarify. Like, I just want to clarify yeah, because, yeah. you know, uh, like, if you subscribe to the idea of the Bible, the Bible is very clear that the, the union between a man and a woman, mm-hmm. it's, I think, that symbolizes a bigger picture, mm-hmm. right? It symbolizes the unity between God and His church, God and His people. Mm-hmm. Right, but it's also something symbolic that happens spiritually, not just the relationship connection between the physical and the orgasm, mm-hmm. but it is a connection that intertwines souls. If you believe in the idea of a soul, but inner or you, right? Well, and, and so, in that context, right, you will say, you know what, sex cannot be had outside of marriage. Right. Now, if we just make it a physical thing, that sex should be had all yeah, the time but, but, because there's a lot of health benefits to it, yeah. But you see, that's the thing, though, okay. But that, that, that's why at the beginning I said, let's not. Take it there because not everybody no, 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 uh, like no, no. can relate no, no, to no, no. But I want to right? offer to you that, that, that idea because like another, because uh, just okay. the thing that, like I agree with the sense that like a, it's it, like a spiritual. Like, like, like to me, is the thing is that if you subscribe to the idea of God, right? If you subscribe, to it, that's why I want to make it clear. Because if you don't, you have every reason, and I don't want you to stop listening to I'm down because I'm not trying to be preachy. Yeah. I'm just trying to give you a perspective that if you subscribe to the idea of God and the, the God of the Bible, then you believe this God has spoken breath into everything, mm-hmm. right? And because not everything in this world is right, that doesn't also mean that everything in this world is wrong. Mm-hmm. There's still his breath and our fragments of his remaining and his reign are still evident in things. Right. And one of those most beautiful things is a marriage. It's when two people who are broken and know they're broken are willing to sacrifice and commit to one another, understanding that they're going to fail and they're going to have ups and downs and yet willing to submit to one another and say, you know what, I'm important. But what we're building together is more important. But so you believe you cannot submit. You it has to be with one man and one woman to be able to accomplish that. It can't be we're friends and we're gonna support each other. We're gonna commit to each other to help each other grow. You don't no, 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 like no, 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 no. I think it can. It can. I just think that there is a specific mold that has been written in Bible. If you believe in the Bible, right? That has been written in the Bible because. One, first of all, I want you to understand that I'm, I'm all for this idea because I don't want you to think that I'm all only for marriage. I'm for the idea that not everybody's meant to be alone and not everybody's meant to be married. Listen, because many people don't know this, but Jesus, right, in the red letters, like the red letters, you know, if you ever read like, one of those Bibles in the pews, in the pews, you'll see the red letters. He said, not every man will get married. And it's not good for every man to be married because some men does not the path that was made for them. And that is perfectly acceptable. Does that mean, that's what I, was, I said, marriage is not about completing, it's about complementing. Now, if we're desiring certain things that the Bible defines that should only happen in marriage, yeah. then we have to be willing to sacrifice to the idea of marriage. Is that, is that the reason why I have such a hard time with this is because it's, okay, l- let's look at it like this, right? Everything you said with this spiritual thing Essentially, you can find, like you said, again, you already said it, right? Yeah, like you don't need to be understood. But everything you said, you can find in a friend or you can find in somebody else except for the sex part. Exactly. If we're talking Bible, right? Like, but that's really like the only thing. But that's what I'm saying. Like, so what's this like, this whole idea? Look, anybody right now, hit up on the comments. Why? Why relationships? Or why? You know, okay, so I guess this is like pretty obvious, right? You're open to relationships. I'm not open to relationships. Why should I, or in your opinion, why should I be open to a relationship? That's what I want to hear. Because I've had this conversation. This conversation was based on, oh, you should just be open to the, to the idea of relationships. And I'm not close to the idea of no, to right. relationships. I, this is the thing, though. Relationships, I'm not close. I have a relationship with, with you. You mean to a romantic relationship? Yeah, I mean, yeah, like let's say to a romantic, like, why? So talk a little bit about your rant with Disney movies. And what you think about... This whole thing about okay, girls so, and... You know how I talked so beautiful about marriage, right? Disney movies are the complete opposite of what reality and the beauty of the struggle that is marriage. And the struggle that is romance and the struggle that is relationship. First of all, children, women, and men are brought up with this idea that there's a, such a thing as a Prince Charming and such a thing as a damsel in distress. Like, first of all, you girls are amazing and independent. You don't need a dude. Right? Yo, you know, I just want you to know, 
right now you have won the entire I'm down female crowd. Like <laughs> you are it. No, you are it. Like you are it. No, right now. what I'm telling you is that. And second of all, stop. Like you know, if we fabricate the idea of wait for the one, wait for the one, wait for the one, we're creating in people impossible desires and crap that they cannot be. Like, you know, you want the guy who will slay the dragon, be a prince, be rich, be well-mannered, be handsome, be this, be that, be, be that, be that, be that, be, 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 be that, all that I fabricated. And second of all, if that guy existed, he wouldn't want a girl who can't defend herself. He wouldn't want a girl who needs him to do everything for her because he doesn't need anybody. He's perfect. You know, so my idea is that Disney builds up this, you know what Disney builds up? Disney builds up the wedding day. What do I mean by wedding day? Every movie, every romantic movie ends at the wedding day or the kiss. Real life starts the day after. Uh -huh. Because it's so cute to date somebody. It's so cute. You only show the best version of you until you both wake up at 7 a.m. in the morning with each other's thank breath. Yep. Then it's real life. Yep. Everything before that was romance. Everything before that was a filter. Let me see. Hold on. Let's, let's read this. So, I honestly don't think it's the same thing between a friendship and a couple because relationship goes more into depth. You'll never have with a friend yeah, with what street. you'll have with a significant other. Okay, you see, but this is where I, okay, at least for me personally, right? Because this is the thing. I guess then uh, you could say I'm an exception. You know what I mean? And we get, but the things that, the things exception. that, I, 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 it's fine that hard to believe because I don't find anything special about myself. And you say I'm an exception is almost making me like highlighting me in some way. You know what I mean? Which I think I'm just a regular everyday person. You know what I mean? Just with a certain kind of thought process. Like for look for me, right? What let's get one thing out the way. In every relationship, and I've always said this, there is no such thing as selflessness. Even though you say, right, that in a relationship it teaches you selflessness, which I do believe there is selflessness, but this is what I mean though. I mean that in you trying to be selfless, selfless, right? You're still being selfish because it's still about you. You get me? Now, it's not all about you, but you want to be selfless so that you can be better, right? To, I don't know, whatever your goals or whatever it may be, or for any other individual. But it's always about you. Like, you're not going to be in a relationship where you're, not, where you're getting zero. You get me? Like, you're never in a relationship where you're getting absolutely zero from somebody. You're getting something yeah. from somebody, whether it's for five seconds, five hours, five days, five days. It doesn't matter. You get me? So but any kind of relationship is transactional. Exactly. So it's always here yeah, and there. It's transactional. That's why for me, it's like I don't I don't see the need for me to be in a relationship ever because I don't see what I need from like I don't see what I get out of a relationship. Like what is it that I personally get out of an intimate relationship? Okay, so let, let me ask a question. Mm -hmm. If no girl mm -hmm. would have sex with you unless you dated, mm -hmm. would you get in a relationship? No. But you said exactly. the only difference between friends and relationships is sex. It's sex, yeah. That, that, that's the only difference that I would see. Okay. From an so, intimate relationship. So you would you would be abstinent if no girl would open her legs up to you. I'm sorry for like that yeah. to use the way I use that phrase as a horrible phrase. So you would say you loyal, you <laughs> You know, so you would you say that, you know, if a girl did not, you know, we wouldn't have sleep with you, you would I would, the, essentially what I'm saying is yes, because it's hard for me to lie like that. Like it's like I always say this it's it's, an, it's hard for me to tell a girl oh I'm all about you if I'm not all about you. Like no, I no, 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 no. What I'm saying is you wouldn't budge into a relationship. Just for sex. Just for sex? No. Cause then I because cause this is to, uh, so this is what I'm understanding from your question. A girl will only be only well, I no, mean, no, no, hypothetically. No, no, right? no, I'm not saying like you play her, you make it seem like you want. I'm saying like okay. no girl would have sex. Mm -hmm. Unless they're in a committed relationship with you. Okay, but, but let's be committed. Yeah. Like, committed. Like, I have to commit to you only, right? Then no, because I just wouldn't be in a relationship. No, because I don't... You know, this is the thing. And this, and this is something that you, nobody could escape. Like you said, for me, I don't want expectations if I'm your boyfriend. The things that the minute that we get into relationships, we have this sense of entitlement. Like, you're my boyfriend, so now you have to do so-and-so, like... Yeah, it's like a social agreement. No, but that, but I don't agree with those things because it doesn't make no sense. Not George, you special. Oh, okay, nothing, nothing new. I don't agree with those things though because what changes them? If we're if we were friends, if we start off friends, right, and we start dating, why should anything change? Like, what wasn't it change? Like the way I treat my other friends, the way I'm gonna treat you. Why should I treat you any different? 
Okay. You like me for me, for who I was. So why would things change? No, 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 I, I, I mean, in that in part, that goes back to it. that goes back to in part goes back to Disney. In part, it goes back to a social understanding that things have changed. Right, but what do but, you think? Do you think it should change? I think something should. Like, like for example, um, you're not married. You're this is just boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah. You live separately. Like, like, like for example, things that are they should change. Are like if you found this guy funny because he was always making fun of people. Don't get mad now. He's like continue making fun of you now. Like that, I was like you know I know some girls are like yo you can't. First of all, that's the only reason you start liking the guy because you like his sense of humor. Right. You know stuff like that to me makes no sense mm-hmm. because then you don't longer feel for that. What would make sense? For me, change? for example, the change that if you guys are understanding you're in a relationship, there has to be a change that this is a committed relationship. Or if it's not, if it's an open relationship, then there's a communication gotcha, that is open. Gotcha. Like certain standards, like, like there's like. I mean, what, 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 okay, so this is what I mean by change, though. By change, I mean, like, not, not those type of, not those type of things, right? Like, so, you're in a relationship, right, there's that communication. By change, I mean any character change. Any, like, you know, like, the, the thing that we had a long time ago, like, homegirl over here with the water, for example. That's a character change. You know what I mean? That's something to be expected in almost every single relationship. You know what I mean? You get, look, think about it. You get more, you feel like the need... Or the ability to get mad at somebody more easily because they're your partner yeah. and they have to take it because yeah. we're partners. But that, that like, I can't. I don't know. Me personally, those are the kind of things I, I see. I, I would them. say that that's more a reflection of immaturity than anything. Because but those are things that tag along. No, no, no. They, 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 they tag along, but maturity is not about age. Maturity, honestly, it's about choosing. You know what? One of the big one yeah, of the, yes and no. One I of the biggest one of the biggest things about maturity is. Maturity is not how it feels, it's how it choose to react, it's how it choose to act, right? You get me? Because many times, for example, you don't feel like going to work, but the maturity thing is you show up anyways. Right. Right? That's that nothing to do with what you wanted to do, that's to do with what you got to do. The same way as relationships, it's not about what you want to do, it's what you got to do. And sometimes people feel like they have a certain entitlement because they're in a relationship mm-hmm. to where they can expect even the pettiest things from a person. Which I don't agree with. I think that that becomes a controlling relationship that becomes a sick relationship. Uh-huh. Because there has to be an agreement that, you know, I'm willing to sacrifice things for you. Not because you, I have to do no. them, okay. but because I want to do them. This is the thing, I, and I get where you're coming from. I guess, like, in a way, though, this is, like, this is this all kind of comes down to communication, mm-hmm. but it's not real. Like, I don't feel like it's real. Communication's not real? Yeah, like, I feel, I feel like what you're saying is, like, the perfect world relationships. You know what I mean? No, no, I think that that's obviously... Ideally, we all communicate, we all expect, but I'm saying that is how we should be resolved in the first place. Yeah. You know, you said it yourself. It's like, you know, you can't, you can't try to get yeah, with but girl. When emo- look, they like, but when emotions and shit like that gets into yeah, play, yeah, 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 yeah. we don't really necessarily get yeah, yeah, logical. We throw, we throw out reason. We throw out reason on the window. We start to get like very like, like, yeah, like we, we, we go off of emotion and, oh, you're supposed to do X, Y, and Z. You get me? So, I don't know. Just for me, look, for me, right? Growing up, I just never saw... Like the like what everybody else sees, which is the whole WW stuff, unless I saw it like on movies or something like that, right? That's just me personally. So it's different for me to view it because it's like, look, when when somebody's trying to convince me of me trying to be op- like, oh, you should be open to a relationship, I was never close to a relationship. Like I'm still not close to a relationship as far as relationships go. Intimate relationship, like, oh, you're my boyfriend, I'm your girlfriend, we're only to one another. No, that's not because. I feel like, for me personally, I guess this is where I'm different. I don't want to ever answer to anybody. Like, I don't want to have to, I don't even, I don't even answer to my own mom in certain cases. Like, I don't want to have to answer to somebody like, why didn't you do this or why didn't you do that? That doesn't really make no sense. Look, communication is real. That's true. Why is Fatima the only one communi- sending messages and there's like five people here? Yo, you five eyes, comment down below. And, yeah. and I, I said, it's just... I feel like my way of thinking is very different from traditional mindset. I feel like most people come from a traditional mindset. So it's like... Yeah, it's this and, 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 and again, like, I don't see what I can share. Like, yo, what I can share with somebody, I can share with you. Except, you know, obviously, <laughs> the physical part, right? But that's it. Like, that's the same thing with, with the female friends that I have. Like, like what, like, what is it that I can... Like, the only difference is that we're not having sex. That's the way I see it. Because we go to a movie or go have dinner, and that's considered a date, right? Like when you're when you're in a relationship, we talk about shit, we work out together, or we go play basketball together, or we go to the mall, or whatever. Like, yeah, I agree. Like, I mean, like all of these things you find in friends at the end of the day. So I just don't understand why 
uh, get into an intimate relationship if it's not for that physical aspect. Because I think, like you said, like after that wedding day, because a lot of people, I feel like a lot of people see life in these fragments, these like pictures, these moments, and it's like that wedding day or the day I get to hold my kid or. You know, like, all these, like, you know, little dumb stuff, in my opinion, that are just dumb. That people don't really normally think about why. Like, why get... Like, I think you're one of the best reasons why I've heard relationship, honestly. You, you, like, you know, we talked about it, like, you said it before. So, your reason for it has been the most different one that I've ever heard. Because everybody's on the, like, oh, well, you know, everybody needs somebody. Or, like, I don't know, something that's, like, completely off-range for me that it's, like, so, like... Like, yo, you got this from the back of a cereal box. You get me? <laughs> like, honestly, you get me? Like, 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 it's just, I don't know, man. I just don't don't understand it. Like, it's hard for me to understand, like, the why. You get me? Because most people are, are just, just comparing themselves to somebody else. Whether it's their parents or friends, family, whatever. They're just comparing them to somebody else. They're not saying, oh, this is why. You get me? Because if I do this, I'm going to be like this or like that. You get me? So, that's why I have a hard time, like, when people try to tell me, like, oh, you should be, like... Oh, you should be open to a relationship. For what? I don't think, look, me personally, I don't think I sue anybody to be in a relationship. Me personally. I just think that the way I think is too, like, it's too annoying. I think I'll be, I just get mad annoyed because, like, I just, the way I think and the way I kind of, like, handle things is not, I guess, like, to some people, it's just not the norm. You get me? No, so I just don't think I will sue anybody in a relationship to begin with. I think, I mean, I, agree. I would agree with you in the sense that I'm the same way. Communicate. Okay, it says we're listening. Listening is big to. Yep, you're right, Ray. You're right. My comment. There's a certain level That's of true. intimacy yeah. that you just can't obtain a friendship. Yeah, it's called sex. Uh, communication requires listening. Yes, lol. Uh, uh. Now, well, let me ask you something. Now, let me answer this question though. Okay. Because I, I think. You, you feel like your way of thinking is, is completely different. This is a way of thinking that's extremely old. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, you know, this, this is a. There's a, a character, right? An old historical character. His name is Paul. Uh -huh. And Paul basically says this to people in a, in a city in Greece. He tells them, the best thing you can do is be single. Uh -huh. But because you can't keep it in your pants, get married. Okay. You so, know? I mean, that's kind of like, eh, I wouldn't want to get... I, I can't, you I can't get, get what I'm saying? saying? Yeah. If you see something more in a, in a context of like, you know, like, the importance of keeping purity. Okay. But because you know you as a human don't have the control to keep it in your pants... Uh -huh. Then you should find one person that you should just marry just so that you can have sex with. Well, essentially. That's essentially, essentially what he's saying. Essentially. That's essentially what he's saying. But that's saying. what I'm trying to tell you. But the idea is yeah. that you know you feel like it's you feel like it's completely different. Okay, look, but this is the thing. The intimacy is what Chris said. It's a compliment with someone that you're doing life with. I don't okay. Let me ask you a question. What does that end of world George okay? <laughs> What does that mean? What intimate, what, okay, what level of intimacy can you have with, like, with a girl that's not with, like, I don't understand, that's what I don't understand. Like, that, 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 I need to, I need to, like, I need somebody to explain that to me so that I can understand. The level of intimacy you can attain with a friend? Yeah, like, she's saying that the level of intimacy you can obtain with a, with an intimate partner that you cannot obtain with a friend, which is? I, I think, uh, maybe, is it, I'm saying, like, maybe the way your emotional, uh, Acumen is, is completely different to some people. But there's certain things that to people, no matter how close their friends are, are cannot be shared, cannot be experienced. But like, can you like, give like, an example? For example, like example, you know, like, you know, I don't know if you guys have this, whatever. But, you know, that, that moment when you wake up at 3 in the morning crying, mm -hmm. most people will not tell the people around them because, but the person that's sleeping next to you yeah, is, already is experiencing that with you. Gotcha. You know, there's certain trips in life that not everybody can take with you. Yeah. So there's an understanding that when somebody committed to you, they committed to the trip with you. Yeah. Whereas most of us are like, man, I can't put that on my friends. Mm -hmm. And we're honest, right? Yeah. We're not going to burden our friends. Whereas a person that chose life with you automatically said, no matter where you go, till death do us apart. That was a commitment. That was an understanding, right? Whether you got married in church or whether you got married by paper uh, in, a, in, a, in a public square or whatever. Yeah. You know? Um, you chose to take this trip. So it's no longer, uh, oh, I only want the sex part of you. There's an intimacy where you say, no matter whether I like you at the moment or I dislike you at the moment, we're committed to it. Mm -hmm. Whereas in friendship, there's no, there's no guaranteed commitment. Because today, you and I, we start talking, and we start being friends, and that, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. in, in the marriage, I understood that I was what I was getting, hopefully I understood what I was getting into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a commitment of doing life together. You know, people say life together. What they mean is, 
the ups and downs of whatever it may bring, you're gonna be there no matter what. Gotcha. Okay, you know, okay, so let me let me read some of these yeah. real quick because they're saying, let me see, because you love them differently, um, because you love them, okay, that's the reason why. In plain English, feelings, a little, which, yep, that's basically what it comes to. Exactly, yes, exactly. Uh, trust, real, raw trust, different, it says because you love them differently, yep, agree, mm, true, okay. But this is where I, so I will say this, that right there opened my mind to think about something else. So you said you wake up at 3 in the morning, as an example, right? You wake up at 3 in the morning and you want to tell, I, me personally, automatically tell that, I was like, I would tell that to somebody because I, I would be wondering myself, why would I wake up crying and what was the reason? Because I would ask myself all these questions, like, when I feel some type of way, if I have the opportunity before reacting, I try to sit on that. Self-awareness, yeah. yeah. That's a big thing that not many people have. Right, and I try to sit on that for a long time. And I, and I think, why... And I tell myself, like, George, are you being a little bitch? Or, like, honestly, like, I, I really do. Or, like, do you really have a reason? You're just being, like, emotional. Like, what's going on? And I really sit with it. You know what I mean? I mean, it's, I don't know. It's, it's not so many things in my life that I'm just ashamed to talk about. Because I think that you need to live your truth. You live your truth. Nobody can ever hold it against you. No, no, no. You. I, I understand, but there's certain things that if we're honest as people, it's not just the bad things. Uh -huh. There's certain things that uh, out of us, like, our quirks, our, the way we do things, our habits, you know, a lot of people always call me Sheldon because there's a lot of things in my life that are scheduled. You know? Yeah, for sure. The moment that you throw away my schedule, yeah, it goes away. It says the intimacy of him seeing all my wow. I already are reading this. Things with me is not a feeling; it's a decision to be committed, and in that commitment, knowing everything. Well, okay, yeah. you see, well, this is my answer to that one. Look, the intimacy of him seeing all my quirks and experiencing things with me, right? So you see, like again, this is where I'm. I'm just different. You know what I mean, like. I don't care who sees my quirks. Like, you know, the whole world could see my quirks, could see that, I don't know, if I'm short, I'm short, and if I if I snort when I laugh, I do it. Like, like I don't know. Like, it's, it's just it's something I'm not afraid to share with the world because I've come to this conclusion that we're here in, in this life for a reason, right? Yeah. To relate with other people, yeah. to bring other people up. The only reason, like, look, I cannot be able to possibly do this podcast and hide who I am because then I'm suppressing to help that that little kid who I'm not thinking about this right, but that little kid who's laying down in bed at night, thinking to himself, "What's next?" or "Am I alone?" Maybe he finds something in me that he relates to me, or maybe the person outside finds something that relates. You get me, like, because that, that that's the whole thing about you know insecurities and stuff that suppresses from the rest of the world from really being ourselves, yeah, and right. really interacting, but really relating. Question, is is there certain people? you relate or interact better with? Relate or interact better with? Yeah, I think so. For sure. Okay, right? And it'll be a smaller group. Yeah, for sure. And in that smaller group, there's people that you even interact and relate better to. Yeah, okay. Yeah? yeah. And, and so the idea of a relationship is, is basically finding that person more depth, that gets more... deeper, deeper, gotcha. deeper. To the point that reality, there's nothing covered. Because even in your friends, no matter how open you are, even if I'm down, no matter how open you are, there's something about you that's going to be covered. I mean, I, I, okay, I kind of, I kind of see where you're getting at. Yeah, you know I mean, but it's just like, I just don't know what that will be. Exactly. For me, I you don't know, know it, and no one does until you end up in a relationship because relationship brings out not only the best well, in you, but also the worst in you. You know, it's because funny. you know it's different hanging out with somebody every day. That's another thing that happens in marriages. People don't realize it's it's different that you go out and see a person every day as you live with that person. Because then there's certain things that are gonna drive you insane. Certain things that are gonna uh, make you, you know, wonder. A different level of intimacy. Sorry for the TV show referencing again, but Sheldon and Amy, intimacy that you only find in one person. True. Okay, you get me. But so it's like this idea that you know, certain things can only be revealed through a certain shared experience, right? And so you know, you may not know it, but you cannot understand certain things of life until you are committed to a person. That doesn't mean that you're missing out on life. Gotcha. It just means that there's certain certain you're saying, experiences. You're saying there's like almost these like locked in things within ourselves that only that right person in our lives can unlock. And and, and not even all the, not all of them are good either. Yeah. Because for example, there's gonna be times that you're gonna be like, you gotta get so mad because that girl moved your slides. Yeah. Oh, I get but that. but then you're gonna wonder why am I mad? Mm -hmm. I'm mad because I feel like she's invading my space. Mm -hmm. But you could have only discovered that if she was living with you. Gotcha. I mean, okay. I, is that, you know, I guess, you know, like, I don't know, but I guess, you know, I always said this, I think for the rest of my entire life, I'll be called immature. Just me personally, right? Because, I don't, I don't think so. because, let me see, 
um, about having wait, 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 only okay, about having your negatives and positives brought out. Okay, farting. What's that? Yeah. Jelly? Because, that mean? because some people like you will not fart in public. Like you don't fart in front of the person you're attracted to, which is fake. But there's a point when you're together that you cannot you hold it in. That's not. That's not true. I I, I fart anyway. Okay. No, no, but there's people who like, yo, I, I gotta show my face for. Yeah, yeah. Like me, you know me. I well, know, you know me in toilet, and you know me in bathroom. Yeah, situations. you're like, you're like a no go. I'm like yeah, a yeah. no go no matter what. I, 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 I get where you're coming from, and I understand some of those things. Is that I guess like for me, I think I will forever match. Look, I always say this, right? And people like, you know, like Fatima says, like, oh, don't ever say ever because you sound immature. But it's just like, I think people like just miss that when I believe in something, it's hard for me to not believe. Of course, it, right? Like, look, like when we talk about like, if you talk about oh, like. Like, you know, church, so for example, right? Like, I can't be in church and until I'm 100%. Yeah, yeah. Committed you know what I'm saying? To something. Exactly. Yeah. And that's just how I've always been. So, like, if I truly believe in something, it's just I truly believe in something. So, you can I call think, it stubbornness. No, you can no. call it maturity. I think, I, think it's, I, don't know. I think there's a beauty in knowing that that's how you are. Because that also makes you, if you ever decide, that would also make you the best husband. Because that means you chose to believe. In the idea I mean, of like, this is the thing. I, mean, I might be like before when I was younger, I did. You know what I mean? Like, obviously... no, no, but, but I'm talking about that. I'm talking about. I'm not talking to 18 year old Joy. I'm talking to you here. Yeah, 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 I don't course, talk about the numbers because, dude. Ooh, ooh. Well, but but that's what I'm trying to get to though. Like when I was younger, I did believe in that. You know what I mean? I did believe in like the whole marriage and thing. But the thing is that the difference between then and now is that I never really gave it thought. You know what I mean? I you never really. It. I never really exactly. It's just like okay, this like college. Like okay, it's just college. It's like you, the next step. You know what I mean? Marriage is the next step. You know what I mean? So I never really thought and question about it and I feel like now in this time I do that a lot I stop and I think and I question a lot of things but you're better for it right potentially like and the thing is that well the thing is that a lot of people don't see it like that the reason I say this is from the conversations I have like from the conversations I've had with most girls oh you're just a kid like just 10 years from now what am I going to be am I going to be a kid and immature like 20 years from now, am I still going to be a kid? The yeah. tag, I, bachelor tag. That's what I'm saying. That, cause I've, that's, what, that's how I'm going to end up. You know what I mean? Like, I know it. That's just how I'm going to end up because that's just like my thought process. Strongly opinionated. That's a... Are you talking about me, Ray? I held in a long ass part until my girl stayed with me. <laughs> <laughs> really? Really? Wow, man. This guy dumb. She said, strongly opinionated. I remember. I don't know what that means. Bruh, bruh. Okay. In your day, I don't know what that means. Strongly opinionated. I don't know what that means. Bro, bro. Okay. You know, but my thing is this: it's like you know, wait, wait. Explain in the comments. So I, see, I can explain yourselves. Um, is that I don't know. Just me thinking about it now is like I just don't see like the point. I, I understand. And and, and uh, granted, though, whoever is like this is obviously. I'm also aware that I have insecurities and trust issues that I've that I've yet to like even want to deal with to begin with. You get me? So I'm probably not the healthiest mentally to be speaking on this, but it still doesn't change how I feel about the situation. Because no, even if I were, right. yeah, because even if I wasn't, I would still be like, well, don't. Because this, this is the thing. At least before, I used to see like relationships are supposed to be like this big ass best friend. Like basically, you you have a best friend and you just marry your best friend. Right, like if, like if you have a, a, at least that's how I used to see it. Like I'm saying, like it's like, look, what what's every guy's dream girl? The homie, the big homie, who's a female. Like, essentially. That's not your dream girl. Tell me, tell me, tell me. So, let me get this right. So, you have a homeboy, right? You have a homeboy, let's say, where you go and you watch sports with, you do everything with, right? Like, that's like the homie, like your best friend, whatever. The only difference will be that that's a female. That's that's not, so what do you want from a girl? I don't get it. Because that, that, that just kind of, like, stopped right there. Like, because I told you, right? like, if I find somebody that wait, I... Wait, wait, tell me, tell me, tell me. He's like, man, that, that you're strongly opinionated. That's it. My best friend, yes, which that's what the big, big homie with the fire. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, no, what's wrong no, with no, you, no. bro? I don't, I don't see it that way. Because the people that I get along most with are people who share my views, share my taste, share my stuff. I don't want to be dating myself, man. I don't see it that way. I, I, maybe I'm wrong, but I, I, I want somebody who brings something different to the table. Okay, but look. You see that? So I, that's right. I'm going to disagree with your mindset there. Because just because you have... Look, take take your brother, right? Your brother could be your best friend. You grew up with your brother, right? Same values and the same values, all of that. But you don't necessarily think the same. You both bring something different to the table when it comes to your thought process. So just because your best friends are like, look, like, what's one of my good friends, right? Like, you know, you guys are my good friends. You, your brother, Louis, Pino, like... 
But we all think slightly different. Yeah, you know I mean, we all have slightly different. No, no, thought but if, if this is my best friend, right? Mm-hmm. That's the idea, right? Mm-hmm. This person I'm, I'm sharing a lot of time with. Mm-hmm. So it's bound to happen that we start sharing views very closely. Yeah, you know, but and, and like, and there's certain spaces that you need you need a break from. Like, I, I just I don't know, man. But I'm not trying to watch sports mm-hmm. all the time. With my girl, I'm not trying to do this all the time with my girl. I'm not trying, I, need, I think there needs to be some gaps, some breaks yeah. in between, because I was becoming like a, like a fixated, like you're suffocating. Yeah. You get me? And that's why I don't want to date my best friend. I don't want to date. I want to date somebody who shares my interests, mm-hmm. but not necessarily my views. Okay. I mean, it's just interesting because I feel like most guys will say yeah to like. I mean, like okay, I get exactly. Let's see what this girl is saying. Maybe they agree with you, but I, I don't think so. I do. Uh, yeah, best friend, yes. yes. Yeah, best friend. Opposite. Also, the attraction's not bad. Uh, your best friend doesn't have to agree with you on everything, though. Yeah. The way right. I see it is, like, supposed to be the big homie that you want to build with, like, mm-hmm. okay? Like, yeah, you, you can know. have a girl that f- you fuck with, not moving nowhere, okay? Uh, nowhere, you don't wife that, but you find a girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, what you saying? It's so annoying when someone pretends to like everything you do. Move, move up in the world with, with you. you. Okay, request. You. Uh, you just love arguing, Chris. It's okay, not okay. that. It's not about arguing. It's yeah, about let's, like let's let, let, let's see if Jelly joins real quick. Let's see his views. Um, yeah, man. So essentially, that's just like, like I, I'm not kind of agree though. Like, I mean, it's like okay, if I like to go play ball and I like fashion and I like all these things, it'll be dope. So, yo, Jelly. Yo, man, so you live on the podcast, bro. Hold on, man. Let me turn off everything. Yeah. What happened? Same? Yeah, what you were saying about the, the girl, like... Yeah, so we're kind of talking about relationships right now and, like, our views on them. And I was saying how um, I feel like in a relationship, the only difference that should be in a relationship between a friend and an intimate relationship is that you guys are just having sex. Like, nothing should really change drastically from when you guys are friends and now you guys are in a relationship. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, about, like, if you're in a relationship or you're with your friends. I mean, I've been in a relationship where I just knew that she was going to last. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I gotta, be, I gotta be real specific with that one. I mean, okay, so I guess in a very just general sense, like, we're kind of talking just general. Like, his views are very different. Like, they're more, um... Traditionally based almost, and then minds are like I mean I, maybe you can say tra- not really traditionally at least to this time as far as relationships like I, I'm I'm not against relationships I just don't think I'll ever be in one. That's that that's that's at least like my my whole thought process on it. Yeah, like ever. Yeah, like the whole marriage and get a girlfriend thing. I don't think I'll ever be in that realm ever ever again. Like, I've been there, I've done that, like, I, like, it's like, you know, like, yeah, something that's going like, back. yeah, like, it's something that's just not for me. Oh, man, I mean, but that, I, I mean, that could be just a phase, you don't know, like, maybe, it could be, I don't like, know. but, I mean, how I see it is, like, it's, it's, yeah, I mean, you, you a good looking dude, right, so, there's gonna be a point where you're gonna be ugly, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, you got no choice but to get a girl that wants you ugly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a real hood response, though. Right? That's a hood response. Oh, it is. I ain't gonna lie. It is. Uh-huh. 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 Uh-huh.
Gotcha, gotcha. I mean, yeah, I think, I think, I think though that applies if you do want a relationship though. If you do, if yeah. you don't, then you're okay with being a single fucking forever. Like that's tough, but I don't know. I mean, cause like, like just, just like I was saying before, I think in a relationship, like, there, like I don't know what I could get out of an intimate relationship. I can't get from friends besides sex. That's like, that's that's what I'm saying. Like, going out with friends. I mean, because I, like, I have girls that are friends. I could go out with girls that are friends all the time, like, if I wanted to, right? Like, yo, let's go have dinner or whatever, like, whatever the case may be. Like, you get me? And then the only thing that we're not really doing is just having sex. So it's like, I don't really see what else I can get or what else a, a girl could give me in an intimate relationship. You get me? Bro, it's, a, it's like you said, it's the big homie. It's like, but it's a lifetime homie. Like, that's the big <laughs> No, but it's... But, but you see, but one of the things I always say though is that that I chill with my friends not as much as I can before they get married. Because once they get married, it's gonna be no more chilling. So you know those those functions, like those friend reunions. I'm gonna be pulling up. I'm gonna be like 40 years old, and everybody's gonna be like, "Yo, bro, like, what's going on?" And what happened with your, your girl homies? When your girl homies get their wife, that I mean their husband, nigga, like it's, it's over. Like, that's yeah, it. you're absolutely right there. They're absolutely right, but then then I'm stuck. But then I but I also realize that though. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's also something that I'm like I'm already having in my mind. I was like, yo, this is, I'm just have to deal with at the end of the day. Yeah. So I mean. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> this guy. So let me ask you something though. What do you think is the difference then between? Oh, why? Let me ask you this. Why get in a relationship to begin with? Just why? For you? Why? Yeah. There's a lot of people, like, like I've, been with, I've been with girls that like, I just knew it was going to be like two or three months. <laughs> yeah. Just, they, 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 you know, some girls be like, oh, no, nah, like, I won't. I only, like, I only fuck the, the, the boyfriend. So there's, there's, there's things like that. And then there's your girls that you really like, oh, damn, you know, she cute. She look good. I can show it to my mom. I can show it to my mom. It's, it's like it's what you're talking about, just your vulnerability. But you see, like that, that's that's how we were saying before, though. Like the thing is that I just feel like I just I don't know. Like I don't have those those like those kind of blockers for me. Like if I dance silly here, I'll do the same thing. Like in the car, like, I'm in the car with you guys. Like that's what I'm doing all the time. Yeah, so I'm acting a fool. Like so I don't know. I guess it's just different for everybody. Yeah, I mean, it's just different for per person. Gotcha. And gotcha. So it, it, it's like a emotional, and like you build like this emotional connection with a person that's like it's like too late to back out now. Exactly. Gotcha. Fair enough. I respect that. He is a good boy. If you're young though, you're like 22, right? We, we're the same age. Yeah, yeah, I'm 22. Yeah, so, so you still got like five, six, seven years before your hairline back up like <laughs> Nah, bro. I don't know if you're looking at this, bro. His hairline ain't backing up, bro. Trust me, bro. Nah, bro. My dad's hairline ain't backed up. Oh, shit. I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> My dude, dude. Oh, God. I mean, look. Again, like, I, I, can, I can respect. I can respect the opinions. I just think that, like, a lot of times, you know, we already have our mindset on certain things. So, like, for example, like, what you said, you, like, you've had your mindset on that. You get me? For a long time. Like, I've had my mindset on this for a few years now. You get me? So, it's not like, 
or just thinking about it now and bam, you get me? So I think it's just yeah. like like you say, you know, it's different. It's gonna be different for everybody. But I got I got a question for you. Yeah. You still got your dad around, your mom around, right? Yeah, for sure. You got brothers and sisters? Yeah, I have a sister. Nah, she, she she's yeah she's young she's fifteen. Okay, so let me ask you something. Like, think about it like this: my dad, my dad passed me down. His name George Rodriguez. Uh-huh. My dad, let's say my dad died tomorrow. Let's say. Yeah. He never got the, the grandkids. Mm-hmm. He never got to see like that whole thing. So I think about it like that. I want my dad to see my grandkids. I don't want yeah. to wait too late. I don't want to be too old, and mm-hmm. then I can't relate to my kids. I want to have my kids at twenty eight, twenty nine. Yeah. Nah, it, how much is it, like fifteen percent, right? Something like that. How much is it? Yeah, I know, it's like like twenty, twenty five percent, I think. Yeah, something like that. On the books at least a month. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I'm. I, I really try to avoid. Like, uh, I'm. I, like when I get with somebody, it's not. It's never really to to just fuck. Cause like you said, you can get that from anybody. Uh huh. It's it's like an actual relationship. Nah, I I, I, I get that. Yeah. I mean, you see, but that's the thing too. Like, you also you also put thought into kids, and that's something that, like, I don't know, I like that's something that scares me more. You know I mean, just because growing up, like, look, like for that, like I've had my parents my whole life, but I've never seen my parents in an emotional state. You know what I mean, like I've never seen my parents share like intimate moments. So growing up with that, I'm also aware that that's something that. You, you said what? <laughs> Yeah, but that's not good, bro. That's not oh, good. Oh, man, I'm like, why? <laughs> He's like, wait, how old are you? How old are you? Ah, okay. Nah, but it's worse if you're, like, older now. Yeah, like, you remember that. Yeah, bro. if you're old now, like, it's, that's bad. So, I mean, I don't know. I, I guess those things kind of, like, like I'm sure they run in my mind. So, as as I as I get older or whatnot, I know those things are going to stay. So, it's like, that could also be a thing. You get me? That's like... So I, I think it's just your upbringing too, you know. It's, it's just it's just different. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like like for me, I never really saw like marriage as like this like honeymoon thing because I'd never witnessed those things. I just saw it as a function. And I still think it's a function for me. You know what I mean, I know I have some friends that agree with it, other people that don't. Whatever. You know what I mean, like it's just I don't know. It's just different for everybody. I just think the whole relationship is different. For everybody. I think that most people though don't stop to think, and that's that that's that's the whole point of this whole thing. I mean, like, the whole point of like I'm down and having this podcast, having these kind of conversations, just to kind of stop and think about, like really think it through. You know what I mean, not just like oh, marriage is the next thing. You know what I mean, having kids is the thing to do. It's just like honestly, I don't honestly like if you ask me, I don't believe in marriage mm-hmm. because I feel like the, the like how it is, like how it's portrayed on TV is like it's, you can get married, you can get divorced, you can get married, you can get divorced, you can get married. You can get divorced, you can get married you can, like, yeah. It's, it's, Yeah, I mean, in a way, like how how it's been portrayed and whatnot. I won't say it's whack, but it's it's definitely lost value. You get me? Like in a sense, yeah, like yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a beautiful thing. Like, like I mean, like if it's real, like I get that, but like I think I think that you can get away without it. I mean, yeah. I mean, in a way, I, 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 I mean, paperwork. It's not gonna add or take away from your relationship. Right. Let's be honest. Yeah. But there is a certain uh, commitment that you're doing aware because I think the fact that many people might not they might they might say I'm not ready to get married. They've been living with somebody for ten years. And I've heard it before. Yeah. It's because to them that paper is official. Yeah. It's because that that paper for you to get out of it you need a divorce. Uh-huh. Everything else you just need a breakup. Yeah. And I think that that's what people need to check themselves because it's like hold up. Then if I'm really ready to with somebody, the rest of my life with somebody, yeah. why would I just get married? I mean, and to be honest with you, like, okay, I guess looking at it now from like even a more like, like you know, government side and everything, it's just more is more if, if yeah, exactly. If you marry, the, if you already live with somebody, then yeah, I think you should get married though, just because of the benefits. You know, you get tax break and you know, like you just it's like a, I don't know all the benefits. You get me? But I know there's a but few you benefits. Somebody, you gotta live with somebody for at least like a year to like actually think about getting married. 
Oh yeah, no, no, no. No, no, no. For example, somebody you mentioned, somebody who's been there for ten years and doesn't want to get married. Why? You might as well get married anyways. Yeah, true. Like if if you know, yeah, it's not going nowhere. Yeah, you might as well. No, no, of course. The, the, you don't need a title to make it official. But, you know, for me, like, the whole marriage thing is, like, there's a benefit to it, so you must well take advantage of it. If you believe, you're going to spend the rest of the time where you let. If you don't, then that's why you're not married. You've seen it before, George, where, where like, you see, like, you'll see, like, a girl you was talking to, like, a week ago, and then, like, she talks to a guy, and now, now they've been talking for two months, and now she's married. Like, she engaged to the guy that she was yeah, talking to. Yeah, you see that a lot. That doesn't make it any realer. Mm -hmm. No, that's true. I definitely agree with you. Yeah, so I mean, it's definitely jaded, you know what I mean? Like, it's definitely jaded. I just think that, um, I mean, as far as just, like, the topic, like, the, the whole relationship thing, though, it's, um, I don't know, man. Like, I say, like, once I feel like I believe in something, I, I do believe in something, maybe, you know, in the future, I get shaken down. I don't know. I just, I, I personally just don't see, like, I just feel like the way I am, the way I think, it's just not fit to be in a relationship. Just, like, you know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, I don't know. Who knows, right? But, uh, I don't know. To that day, bro, I'm, uh... Right, I'm gonna keep the same energy. You're gonna find it. I had my, my girl was like playing with me for a minute before I got her, and then yeah. when I got her, I was like, yeah, I'm just like, I'm here, like, shit, like, I'm stuck. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, man. It's like, uh, you're gonna find a girl that's gonna make you chase it, and then when you chase it, and then you, you get you with it, maybe you live with her for a little bit. At first, when you live with somebody, you're driving you nuts, because, like, you were saying, like, shit gets moved around, like, you slide, get missing, uh, you start wearing your clothes. That shit will piss you off. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, man. Yeah, I don't have that annoying person. And you'll find that annoying shit cute. Gotcha, gotcha. I don't know, who knows? Hey, but hey, bro, but thank you, bro, for coming through. You feel me? Appreciate that, bro. You're going to be on the podcast, so. Yeah, man. Dale, go ahead. Yeah, man. So, um, I think we taxed this one out, right? Yeah, unless they got some comments they want to reply. Right? Yeah, I don't know. Anybody? Let me see. Yeah, I see. True, true, true. Somebody said, give this man jelly in the war, keeping it 100. True, true, true. Yeah, man. So, I mean, at the, at, at the end of it, I think it's just, um, yeah, we tax this out. Yeah, it's, it's a like, personal thing. Yeah, it, it, it comes out to, like, a personal thing. I, I like, um, nobody really try to argue, which is, like, you know, I just had this argument, like, twice last week. So, you know, nobody try to argue, but that's cool. Um, at the end of the day, it is. It's going to be like a very personal thing at the end of the day. So, I mean, I don't know, to each his own. I guess the lesson you learn from it is to each his own. Yeah, and the, the mentality, the whole mental thing. And um, I guess, like, the only thing that she said, he was real. And that's the only thing to take is that, I know from a lot of these things, though, I still take um, a lot of these emotional things. And I guess that that's what I'm lacking, period. You get me? Like, I guess in a sense. Like, it's not so much empathy. Like, I could understand it. But it's a lot of like, I don't know, I just feel like there's a lot of like these emotions and these kind of, this fill away type of things being thrown around that I just can't really relate to. Yeah, I, I just think that uh, um, in our regular society, love is oversensitized. Mm -hmm. So you have to feel love, right? Which in reality, love has never been a feeling. Love is more of an action. Love is, uh, is, is a sacrifice. Right, right. And so when you understand that that is what you say, when you tell somebody I love you, you tell them, hey, I'm willing to sacrifice for you. Mm -hmm then I think that in itself is the ideal relationship. Right. It's understanding that love is not what I feel, because even when I don't feel it, I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. Right? It's sacrificing. It's submitting when you want to walk away. It's, it's yeah, yeah. Stand, standing there when you know they don't, you don't want to be wanted. It's that kind of idea. You know, it's kind of putting up with crap that you normally wouldn't. Mm -hmm. Right? I think that is the idea. I think that's a change. But everything else other than that, you know, it's individual. It's going to be a personal and, a, and a, a, like a certain thing that you're going to grow with. Yeah, for sure. Um, so I think that's what it is. It's like a personal thing that you're gonna find somebody. If you do fight, if you don't find somebody, that's cool too. But you find somebody that you say, man, you know what? Like I, I want to give them everything. Yeah, I mean, in, in, I, I, I tell you, I can feel for that. I, I think, I think, and I, and I've said this before. Like I just think it. I think it's a beautiful thing. You hear me? When two people do find themselves like that, like I said, a lot of my answers come from just me, like you know, a deep thought. Come from again me understanding that I do have insecurities and you know like trust issues that you know I just don't want to fix or at least now. So I mean, you know, my answer could also be jaded. Yeah, I mean it's like nah, like you're not seeing it clear. So you know, it's just I I feel like I still can see it from different lengths. Yeah, I mean like I can understand where you're coming from. 
Um, and I got more, I guess, of an understanding just talking about it now. Yeah, mm-hmm. Because, I mean, even, like, if you think about it, even ancient Greeks, like, like you know, like, the real thinkers, yeah. right? They have more than one word for love because mm-hmm. there's different kinds of love. So it's a, like a love that is between friends, a love that is between uh, father and son, it's a love that is between, you know, a spouse and a, and a and, and your spouse, right? Yeah. A husband and wife or whatever relationship intimately. So they understood that, you know, like there was depths to love, mm-hmm. right? And I think that that's the whole idea of being in a relationship is understanding that there's certain relationships that can only satisfy certain loves. Gotcha. And it makes sense. I, 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 I get it. Like, for example, you and I cannot understand the love of a father because we're not dads. We're not got gotcha. you. Yeah, you get me. So there's only love that can only be experienced mm-hmm. and understood. Like you hear all the time, dude. I didn't know how much I could love somebody until I saw that baby. So I got yeah. You hear all the time, all the time right? Time. Yeah. And, 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 so others like blah blah. Yeah, like, everybody blah, sounds blah, like a different blah. kind of love. And then the same way happens with love with your marriage. Yeah. You know, you could never suddenly love somebody. Blah blah. Okay, blah well, until you actually let love me, somebody. Let, let me open up a little bit, right? Now this this has always been my thing, though. Like, so my thing with kids though has always been this fear that. So, like, when I was young, like, like, you know, and I've spoken to this before, when I was young, I never felt, like, the support or the love from my dad, right? Like, my dad's the provider mm. in just the physical sense, but he was never, like, you know, the hugger or nothing, right? So, growing up, I'm looking at all my friends, and their dads have this, you know, connection, stuff like that. So, I never had that. And I've always grown up hearing that no matter how hard you try, you always end up being yeah, a representation your of your parents, yeah. you know I mean? or, like, or your father, because... It's it's just still it's it still it far, far, far from, from the, tree. the tree. So I remember being young and like tearing up in bed because like I don't my dad doesn't love me that that thought yeah, process. Yeah. So I always thought like from a young age that like, I can't have kids though because you gotta replicate. I'm gonna be that and then that kid's not gonna have that right now. Now obviously growing older I realized that that's not the case. Like you know I have full power and control to change that outcome. You know what I mean I can be. What he lacked, if, yeah. if that's the case, you get me? But, but what if I can't be that? That's 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 a thought that goes through my head. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, what if, what if I just go to default without ever really just like being conscious of like, damn, am I being supportive? Because at the end of the day, like, I'm just not, I'm not even that kind of person, anyways. Like, I'm like, I'm on my day to day, I'm not the huggable, huggable, huggable person. I'm not the person that's touchy and feeling and. You know what I mean? I'm a person that I like to talk to. You get I me? Mean? Like, I love to talk to my sister all the time and give her advice and guide her. Even though I feel like advice is almost like, and I'm not going to say it's a waste of time, but it's something that if you're not ready to take, you're never going to yeah, take. Yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, it's so, not, it's not the right season and it won't produce fruit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, I think... John, John can you yeah. check if it's still recording? I think um, you, hit, you hit a really good point that says that, you know, like, what if I take default? Mm-hmm. Right, and we tend to do that all the time. We tend to fall back into doing things, and we don't even know what we're doing. Mm-hmm. So that that's where that the whole desire of self awareness has to come. Like you know, I'm always constantly questioning my why. I'm always questioning, stopping to say, why did I do this? Why didn't I do this? Yeah. Because I think, I I think we gotta be honest. Everybody's gonna fail as a parent. Mm-hmm. Because no matter you said yourself, no matter how much advice somebody gives you, even in parenthood, no matter how much advice somebody gives you. You know, like my parents were amazing parents, yeah. but that did not stop me from wilding out. Right. Does that mean that they failed as parents? No. Sure you get me? Mm-hmm. It, it's because at the end you gotta understand that there's some pressure in your shoulders, yeah. but there's only so much you can do as a parent. And it's not the same way as, as a person. There's only so much you can do as a person. Mm-hmm. Now, if you want to bring it to some other context, then you can find help somewhere else. Right, right. Right, and this idea of therapy, this idea of go, uh, speaking about your struggles, going through them, mm-hmm. right? Not just hiding them or pushing them by, but going through the struggle, having a breakthrough, right. you know, overcoming, and realizing, you know what, the reason I was acting this way wasn't what I thought it was. It was actually because mm-hmm. of this, this, you know. And you need to find that revelation and the realization of why you do things or why we yeah, don't do yeah. things. Like really sit with yeah, that really, kind of thought and be able you know, to face it. You know, like what, one of my things for for not getting into a relationship was as I had this conversation too was you know how I, I've heard this verse I heard this last year was probably the first one of the first times that at least I remember hearing it right um, the energy that you put out is the is the kind you get back right you believe in that yeah right okay well, so what you so right so it's funny so I remember being younger every every relationship I've ever like I guess any like. 
I don't want to call them relations. I feel like, you know, to this day, I was just thinking about this the other day. I feel like I never had a girlfriend. Like, honestly. And you'll be like, oh, why do you say that? It's like, because you can't have, like, like okay, let me let me simplify this. Then. Like, Marlon Wayne, like, Marlon's in the Breakfast Club, and he goes, every girl I've ever been with cheated on me. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, I can relate with you, bro. Like, I can relate to that. I understand what you mean. I understand what you mean, because... It's almost like, even though maybe not, not necessarily in my case, every single person I've been with is cheated, but like, can you say you've had a girlfriend if you never had them in the first place? And how do you know you had them in the first place? If there was ever like, um, like a move of treachery or like a move of like, of like just like, I hear what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? So like, if they if they acted in a way that would go against what the idea of a girlfriend is, that she was never really your girlfriend. Right. That 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 that, like, that was my thought process. Is that is that like the idea of? Uh, I don't know if it's right. Is that, but like, I was just thinking that, like, that, can that, I say it? That, that sounds like the idea of um, if you let it go and it doesn't come back, it was never yours in the first place to begin with. Type thing. Okay. Type thing. Um, well, okay. I, I, wait, I think in part. Hold yeah. on, but let me finish what I was trying uh-huh. to get at though. So now, when I was young, or mind you, so I grew up in church. Right? So anybody who knows me, who went to high school with me and middle school with me knows I've always been, like, the Christian boy, church boy, whatever, right? Because I was, like, that was, like, I had a relationship with God that was mad heavy then, right? Um, so during that time, you know, I I feel like I was acting accordingly, Play I the guess. Role. Yeah, yeah, like, as far as, like, you know, that, that path, you know what I mean? So if I was that then... Like, I guess, like, a good boy. That's, that, that's, like, I can't, in high school, like, oh, you're a good boy, this, this, and that. I used to think, like, oh, the only reason girls are trying to, like, you know, even try to, like, talk to me and stuff like that in high school was because I'm a good boy and everybody around me is not a good boy. That's how I used to think, so I don't know. So, if I was considered to be this good boy, isn't that, like, good energy I'm giving, so why would you get negative energy back? That's a good point. Mm-hmm. What if I turn it around for you and I say, okay. That was just maybe God doing you a favor and showing you that that person was right. You think so? If you look at it that way. So you're saying that it's, it's all a, about it's a, it's a process of elimination. But then, then, how, but then, how does that correlate with the energy? Will you reap what you sow? Okay. How, how would you like? Well, what you reap is what you sow. You're trusting in God. You're seeking God first. Mm-hmm. He says He'll take care of the rest. Mm-hmm. So He's like, no, 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 no. Got you, got you. So it was like, so, uh, like you know what, and, and and there was certain things you weren't gonna learn if that would have worked out. Mm-hmm. That oh, was true. that probably wasn't the time. Mm-hmm. All this, all this like factors. The problem with humans is that humans cannot be quantified, right? <laughs> you cannot put a formula for humans, right? Because there's emotion, there's ideas, there's, yeah, there's, there's a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. But it is the power of perspective and the, the way of saying, you know what? I put out this. That doesn't mean that's what that we stop trying. Well, because, and we stop trusting, we stop you know, loving. Because the biggest challenge is when you fail, or when something didn't work out, it's do I have the strength to try again? Mm, so that's like the that's the ultimate the, challenge in relationship. Gotcha. When that person wasn't all that you thought they were, are you willing to try again? Even in marriage, the moment somebody bring said like wasn't there when you expect them to be there, are you willing to try again? So this, 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 by the way, this is my therapy right here. Like, I literally just had a therapy session, technically. You know what I mean? Because, <laughs> nah, yeah, because you answered that this is the only thing I will say. With the report you saw, my manager is the one that told me this, by the way. Vanessa, shout out to Vanessa. She's actually watching. She actually, well, I don't know if you watched, but I know she watched the episode or not. But um, we're having this conversation, and she's like, yeah, you get what you put out. Because um, I guess, like, I, I was having this conversation also with Julian. And I'm like, yo, you know, I come to the conclusion that, like, I can't escape what my perception is, which is, like, a player. Like, that's my perception always. So whoever I have a conversation with, like, when it comes to a girl, I'm that guy, no matter what. So, like, just how, like, we're talking about guys being lame, how they slide in the DMs and whatnot. It doesn't really matter how I come. I'm considered automatically a player. Because of how I... Question. Do you choose to play the role? No. Like... When, when some, you know what, because I already know they're going to think of a player, I might as well do it. No, no, the thing is, and I love that, the thing is, I was saying, I, I don't think I'm a player, let's get that one out the way, me personally, I think a player, somebody, well, like, a girl told me, this, oh, you're not a player, you're a ladies, man. I know what she meant, she's like, oh, like, because a player, somebody was like, you know, 
knows how to yeah, back and knows forth. how to exactly how to slide around the girls and that's not me. You know, I don't have the tongue and all that for that. But then she's like, you're like a ladies man because you're not, you know, I don't know, like you put this thing about you and I don't know whatever. That that was her explanation, you know. Um, not to play the role, but I definitely thought about like it's like, well, damn, fuck it. You think I'm a fuck boy? I'm right, fuck boy. Then I might as well be a fuck boy. The truth, I can't be. Like, I just, it's hard for me. The thing is, I can't lie. Like, it's hard for me to really, like, lie and tell you, like, oh, no, I want to be serious. I want to be this. No, like, I'm going to let you know, like, no, like, I'm not. I'm, I'm a rental. Like, I'm a rental. Like, I'm definitely yeah, a rental. I don't like, know. I, I'm going to let you know. So, I don't know. It's, it's different. I guess, but that's what I'm saying. Like, the energy that I put out now is different. And I, I wouldn't really know how to describe it right now. For, uh, carefree? Maybe because I know what I want from girls. Yeah, yeah like, that's I just carefree want in the sense that yeah. you're not looking for anything more than just than the physical. Yeah, yeah. So it's not like like an like a like an idea of expectation or uh, idealization of relationship. Right. It's kind of just like the moment. Or yeah. You want the moment, you know. Essentially. Yeah. And I think you know that's not bad. I think the fact that you're aware of what you want is a good thing. I mean, it comes to you too. The well, only thing is you gotta understand that there has to be I guess depending on what kind of guy you want to be there has to be a moment when you say you know I don't want to devalue women because of my own selfish desires right that's the only thing that I would say you know well, you can come to a recession because yeah. you say you know what I have a sister I have a mom I wouldn't want to know what to do to them right so I'm trying to put up a different energy well let, let me ask you this do you think it's bad though if it's like a mutual thing if we both want just physical I have, I have a problem, maybe I'm biased, but I have a problem believing that girls only want the physical. Gotcha, okay. Because I, I, the few girls I've had the conversation with, and I, I know I've actually gotten to meet, and you know, they were, they were, the idea of just the physical was something they wanted, it came from a place of hurt. Because they had a burden of hurt in relationship, they no longer want a relationship. They just wanted a good time. And, and that in itself is just going to create more hurt. You know, there's a saying that says, hurt people hurt people. I heard that one before. So, you yeah. know, it, it's kind of like, you know, you just kind of in a vicious cycle because it just leaves you feeling more empty than you started with. Because in reality, it's not what you wanted. It's just what you thought would make you feel better. Gotcha. There's a difference between saying, this is all I want mm -hmm. and thinking this might be my solution. Like, for example, when people go out to drink, there's a difference between drinking for a social setting and having a good time and drinking to forget your problems. Your problems are still there the next day after you hang up, you work up hungover. Sure. So you wake up in a worse position. Yeah, exactly. Sure. The same can happen with when two people want the same yeah. thing. Okay. So I think this is like the first. Okay, I mean, we talked about this, but it's like the first time we've sat down and really, really. Talked. I don't know how long it's been. Like probably like an hour and a half now, right? Um, so we're gonna wrap it up there. I think it's probably the most enlightened uh, relationship talk I've ever had. Like real talk. Um, and I kind of like. I guess yeah, I see things a little bit differently for sure. I think that Christoph right now is the I'm down poster child for every single girl out there, period. Like, you don't realize it, and I, I can't wait to look back at this because you don't realize how many girls you just made smile. Like, yeah, not really. Look, like, he keeps saying, no, he wants to be like hard ass right now. No, it's, it's not okay. Bad. It's because you the are the I'm down poster child yeah, for today just because of. Alright, you and I'll say you and, and Jelly just because yeah, he, he got some good wisdom. Just because exactly. Y'all drop I feel like you guys dropped what um a lot of girls like. And it's not because of what they like, but it's just how you really feel. You get me? So it's almost like you your heart and your mind is perhaps in the right place, I guess, for just the world itself and society. And I guess that my heart and my mind is not in like the Right, because as far as society goes, you get what I'm saying? Like, it's just as far as what the norm goes. So that's why I say you're the poster child or whatnot. Nah, Cause, right. Just because as far as the comments go, it was a lot of ahs and yes and trophies and, but, you know, all these things. But you so, know me, and, you know, for me, it's not about, I, I actually hate that. I hate compliments. I hate people, you know. Mm -hmm. For me, I'd rather you disagree with me because it creates debate. That's why I love the conversations we always have. Um, but it's just about, you know, for me, it's just certain standards. And I don't meet them. But I, be, I believe that, you know, part of me growing and becoming the person that I want to be, the standards I've set for myself, is communicating them. 
you know, and that way you guys can hold me accountable. That way George holds me accountable, you know, because Chris used to say this and you said that, you know, and there's times that I may go back on what I said because I understood that there was growth and it was a better way of doing it. But there's things that I feel that, you know, like, for example, women have intrinsic value. I struggle with seeing a woman like that sometimes. Mm-hmm. Because in reality, sometimes we just want her body, we just want this, we just want that. And, it's, it's, and, and so I need to constantly be reminded, of, yo, it doesn't matter what you feel, she has intrinsic value. And that's where I, I, I try to speak it because I, I speak it into my existence, into my being. Right. It's like, you need your big need, your big ears need to hear it, Chris. Yeah. So you got to say it constantly to somebody until you finally buy into it. And that's the idea of it all. Well, but this is, like, this is where, and again, I, again, you don't like the whole compliment thing, but like uh, on a serious note, though, this is why I say like, um, this is why I just say you're a good guy because you're, I don't know how you want to put it, but you're either ahead of your time as far as your age goes. Or your heart's just always in the right place. Or I'm really behind it. I win that old, old times. Well, no, no. <laughs> you not be saying it. It's true, though. Right now, guys, all you want to do is smash. And that's it's very true. Like, it's not... Um, it's something because a lot of people go through this problem where eventually they end up, you know, getting into a relationship and then they realize that they didn't get to do or they feel like they missed out on mm-hmm. things. You get me? But yeah, man. I think that for that, you definitely will be back. So you guys know who the good guy is. You guys know who the bad guy is. I'm going to edit it and crop it out. You guys know who the bad guy is. appreciate you guys. But uh, yeah, man. Again, we appreciate you guys for watching. Um, this for jumping was, uh, in live. Yeah, for jumping. We did live back to back today. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I absolutely loved it. The interaction. That's exactly what we want to do. The whole point is to promote conversation. So, you know, whenever we do things like this, um, it makes me just happy that just one person views. Do you get me? Um... You know, it's crazy to me that, yeah, like, even, look, in one day that we post something, if it has zero views, cool. But the next day I tune in, I see one view, and it didn't come from me or Chris or something like that. I'm happy that somebody took the time to watch. I'm happy that. It's an honor. Exactly, because um, yeah, it's for one person. You know, like, I've had, I've had up there my board that for the next two years, there's going to be zero views. And we've got nothing but love so far, you know, so we thank you guys uh so much. You know, we've been trying to, like, Kick this up, you get me? Um, trying to get better every day, trying to come up with better topics. And hopefully in the future, you know, we could kick up, you know, more content, right? More episodes mm-hmm. probably throughout the week. And yeah, man. So we thank you guys. We appreciate you guys for watching. You know, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Leave some, you know, your comments on your thoughts on relationships. Uh, your thoughts on us. On, you know, whatever, you know, your heads at. Uh, whatever problems and whatever thing you guys need us to talk about are... Instagrams are down there below for I'm down. Don't be afraid to DM and say, can you guys talk about this? I want to see the male perspective in this. Or I'd like to see a conversation about this. Um, you know, just go ahead down, you know, messages, comment, all that great stuff. Uh, Jay, you ready? First off.